Hey everybody, it's Logan here once again from Red Bandana Gaming. And as you can see by the title of today's video, things are going to be a little weird. Um, this is not something, a video I'd ever thought I'd do, or I'd ever thought I'd think about. But uh, today, not just today, but uh, the last few days, I happened to go into a few game stops and notice that these collector's editions were on sale and when i say not just on sale they weren't like ten dollars off twenty dollars off they were well over 50 to 90 percent off on collector's editions um and these are games that i normally wouldn't buy uh unless they were stupid cheap i mean stupid cheap well, I, I, I'm a big fan of uh, JRPGs, so two of them just kind of fell in the category, and uh, the other ones, I keep looking down because there's a big stack right next to me, and I'm thinking, um, yeah, technically, there's only three games in this, in this video that I've purchased. Uh, Lich purchased uh, another one. And I was going to purchase one other, but unfortunately, they couldn't find the disc. So they're looking for it, and tomorrow, uh, hopefully, if it's there, I'll go pick it up. And uh, I'll add a little caption down the video, or, hey, I might do this again. I saw more of these collector's editions at other game stops. One happened to be, if you guys are familiar with the South Florida area, at the Sawgrass Mills Mall. I went to a GameStop over there, and uh, one of the games I was looking for was actually looking uh, to pick up a game called Black Mirror for my wife. Well, the game's called Black Mirror, and it was for my wife, not Black Mirror for my wife. It's just kind of weird. But I, w I went looking for that game, and then I saw a big section of collector's editions. And they were on uh, clearance. They had those yellow clearance stickers on them. So I was like, hey, you know what? There's one without one that I was interested in. And I said, hey, how much is that? They pull it down, and it was a $100 game normally, and it was on sale for $29.99. That happened to be... Can't tell if you can see it. Senran Kagura. Uh, Senran Kagura uh, Burst Renewal. I think it's Senran Kagura 2 Burst, or Z. Um, I had a couple of uh, uh, these other games on, I think I have one, I have another one on the PS4, and if I'm not mistaken, I think I have one on the 3DS. Very tongue-in-cheek games, very niche, very weird, not usually my type of game, um, but they come with these really interesting collector's editions, so I decided, hey, might as well pick it up. <laughs> and it's funny just looking at the box and seeing what's in it. It's it's hilarious. Um, people may ask if I if I'm gonna do a box opening, but this is probably one that's going to stay sealed. Uh, I'm keeping it in the vein of Catherine because I have Catherine the full body edition. I did a uh, little opening, but on Instagram for that one. Uh, most of the stuff on the inside I, I keep sealed. This one is probably just going to stay sealed. I'm sorry, the, the light is hitting it. I'm trying to look to see if it's if it's bouncing off so you guys can see it well. So that's that one, $29.99. And then um, Lich found out that I got this, and he's like, hey, I want to get a copy. Sadly, we went to the GameStop um, that's by my house, which is a bit closer, uh, and he Unfortunately, there was $39.99, so I'm not sure why it was cheaper, but it was the last one where I got it. it was kind of sad that he had to pay $10 more, but he, he still picked it up. Uh, he didn't mind paying the extra 10 bucks. This is normally $100. I don't know. It might have been more when it came out, but having 70% off of Steel Sealed Crazy Collector's Edition, that's, that's pretty awesome. Next one, um, another... JRPG, a uh, very, I don't know how to say it because I've never 
played it. I've owned it on the PSP, and I don't remember how it was. Uh, I think I got it on the Switch. I don't know. I have a ton of games on the Switch. You guys have seen it. I'm not 100% sure if I have it on the Switch. I'd have to look up on my... Sorry, I'm actually looking up on the shelf. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know if I have it or not. But Fate Extella, the Umbral Star. For those of you who are familiar with it, uh, is it good? Is it bad? What is it? Tell me. Uh, drop it in the comments if you know anything about it. It's the Noble Phantasm Edition. For this one, it was open when I got it. It was brand new. It was the last copy. It comes with a sealed wall banner. Some cards, I think it is. Some pack of cards of some sort. A little manual. That's what it says. It's the game. And you open it up. Sorry, let me take this out without uh, art book. So this, from my understanding, was a hundred, seventy-nine, a hundred, something like that. Oh great! Now it wants to fight me to go back into. The... Look at this! Look at this now! Lich is gonna watch a playback of this and just flip that I'm doing it like this. He's gonna be like, oh, you're messing it up, you're messing it up. I'm gonna be like, I. Ah. Ah. There we go. <laughs> um, put that in there and put these little thingy madingies in here. And it's got a little magnet thing with a little glamour thingy. As you can see, that's the back. There we go. Front. Um,. I think it was, like I said, between 70 and 100 bucks. Uh, I, I, I know the gentleman who works there. Uh, his name's Eric. Great guy. Really, really great guy. Um, usually hooks me up and lets me know when things like this come in. Or if they go on sale, usually uh, I ask for Power Rangers and Ninja Turtle figures whenever those come in. If I can't pre-order them, as soon as they come in, he lets me know. This one, when I uh, we were asking about the Senran Kagura, he told me, "Hey, what about this one? This one's on sale." He looked it up, thought it was it was marked as thirty one, and I was like, "Wow, that's actually not a bad deal," because I think it said was seventy nine. Not sure if this was seventy nine when it came out or ninety nine, like I said. But sorry, I keep repeating myself. Um, Nineteen ninety nine. Sorry, nineteen ninety nine for that. 1999. I couldn't say no. Um, not that I think all these collector's editions are going to soar up in value or something like that, but they're really cool to have. I love the art books. I love the little things that come with it, whether it's a soundtrack, the art cards, the wall banner, crazy things like that. I love it. So for 20 bucks, you know, that's what is that? 70, 80 percent off, depending on what the original price was. But I know it was way up there. So that was pretty cool. The other thing that we were looking for was another Senran Kugura game. Uh, it was a hundred dollars normally, because I remember when it came out, and might have been eighty, but I think it was I think it was a hundred. And he had it as well. He had the box again. Was the last copy, and couldn't find the the game. I was like, oh no, and it was down too. $20. And I was like, oh, let me get it, let me get it. Couldn't find it. So he's like, okay, he's gonna wait till uh, his boss came in and they were gonna locate it and let me know. I guess they didn't find it today, but I'll find out tomorrow. Like I said, I'll head back over there tomorrow and see if they found it. If not, maybe another store in the area will happen. That was another Senran Kugura game, down from almost 100 to uh, 20, so about 70, 80% off. It was. 80 to 100 dollars in that range, which is a steal. Now, for those of you who know me more or know me from the, the IG posts or ever played with me online, you guys know I'm not a big Call of Duty guy. I love FPS games, I love shooters, I love Halo, I love Gears. You guys know I love Gears. 
even though that's a third person. But I love the shooters. Uh, a lot of people do. But I like my sci-fi stuff. Uh, big in the sci-fi uh, games, Mass Effect. But I do like uh, non-sci-fi first person games. Um, Elder Scrolls series, of course. But um, this one, this one's a little different. This one I never thought I would buy whatsoever. But the collector's edition was initially $159. I think the game came out around two years ago. I think it was the one from not last holiday season, but the holiday season before that. I don't know. I don't. I don't keep up with the series anymore. And I know you guys are like, just shut up. Come on, what is it? But it was $159. I got it for $8.99. Yes, you heard me right. $8.99. So, this one's a pretty big one. So, give me give me a second. Yes. Yeah. Call of Duty World War II. Whoops. The sleeve came off, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this. $8.99. Is that nuts? The Valor Collection. And what's even funnier? Here, let me show you. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is for um, Xbox One. Yeah, this one came out in 2017. So we're looking two Call of Duties ago. Um, but yeah, how about... I bought two of them. Yes. I bought two. At $8.99. I bought two. I don't know why. Because I bought two. If you're a Call of Duty fan, go to GameStop. Go to your local store. Go to your local GameStop, talk to them, whatever. Ask them if they have them. Regular price $9.99. I guess they moved them to a pre-owned SKU. If you have your Pro, $8.99. What a steal. What a steal. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with two. It's just, hey, I have two. Two. What am I going to do with two? They were $8.99. How can you say no to that? Let me... And to be honest, I don't even know what this comes with. I think the back of the box says, I, I know I'm being a little weird, but $8.99. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 exclusive statue. Um, complete set of in-game division patches, infantry, airborne, mountain, armored, uh, expeditionary, collectible Nazi zombies, Blood Raven sword pin, Exclusive Call of Duty World War II Nazi Zombies 24 by 36 poster. I just want to see what the statue looks like. I wasn't planning on doing a box opening or opening it at all. But what the heck? We're right here. Let's uh, let's see if I can get this baby open. For those of you, I'm pretty sure you can load up another video on on YouTube and see what it is or you're even probably saying oh it's this statue it's just boom. cool I've never seen it and for those of you who probably watch this who watch us the retro and whatnot probably aren't huge Call of Duty fans maybe Gears maybe Halo yeah this is the Xbox one version. Um, let's see, I think I got a, a little blade down here. This thing's sealed. Let's stand up. Sorry, you're going to see my mid section. Slicey, slicey. Yeah, it's a tiny little blade. Make sure I don't cut myself. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. There's no Bobby here. But those of you, who, you know who Bobby is. Yes, yes, I'm doing that. All right. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's 
let's move that box aside. Making sure I'm not knocking anything over. Oh, another seal on the bottom. Oh, come on. I'm trying to do this without destroying the entire foam because I don't know if this is going to go on display depending on how cool it is or whatnot. Like I said, I've never seen this before. I knew it had come out. I just don't know what it is. And I know it's two years old and people can give a rat's ass. Excuse the, the French. But hey, it's something new to do on this channel. So we might as well. Oh, that's really cool. I'm not sure uh, how many of you guys know this, but I'm a World War II buff. My grandfather was huge. Uh, my grand what was huge in World War II and and military. He fought in Korea. Uh, God rest his soul, I miss him. But hey, uh, he really got me into this. Oh my God, what a gorgeous statue! Oh, something's broke on it. Something's broken. I'm gonna see if I can fix that. It looks like uh, something on from the submachine gun. Not sure. I'll put that there. Even if you're not a Call of Duty guy, you really... Oh, it's the... I see what it is. It's actually broken. It's the barrel of uh, the rifle there. That's just a beautiful statue. Respect it has to be given where it's due uh, for all those who, you know, fight for us, for our freedom and whatnot. This is just a respectable statue. Uh, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, that's really cool. $8.99. Um, it's a sword. That's cool. Don't know if you guys can see it too well. Let me try and take a look, see if it comes into focus. Oh, there we go. And patches. They, they kind of look like some replica World War II ones. My grandfather had a huge collection of them. Um, my grandma still has them at her house. I will probably be taking them, uh, taking over the collection, um, someday soon. But, hey, um, let's not get in to anything depressing there, because this is awesome. How awesome, how awesome, seriously, is this statue? I think that's great. I'm probably gonna set it up somewhere. Probably not gonna go in the game room, probably gonna go in the living room with some of the other displays. Um, it, it's just a gorgeous piece. Was so worth the money. I mean, I would have paid if, if I knew this was the statue that I came with. Even at a good 50 bucks, it, it's definitely worth it. If you had bought this when it came out, congrats to you. Definitely, definitely worth it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I might do more of these because if if I can continue picking up these collector's editions for for super cheap or just finding them. At whether it be a retro game store or game stops probably game stops because once they put them on clearance they're so easy to pick up and if I knew even when I worked there a lot of the collector's issues were gone before we could even mark them down but I guess you know uh, the state of things the way they are now um, maybe they're just trying to get rid of this excess inventory and hey you know that's better for us those of us uh, gamers uh, collectors guys who have channels like this you know, we could really show this stuff off, and it makes a uh, cool uh, game room and, you know, house decoration pieces. That's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, now that I have one for the PlayStation and the Xbox, don't know what I'm going to do with both. Someone said maybe auction or do a giveaway on the PlayStation version. I don't know. What was that thing about that? But, um, yeah, that's it for this. And... Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't like it, like it anyway because you're nice people and nice people like our videos. <laughs> uh, remember, head on over to Red Band Band Gaming for all your RBG goodness. Uh, the site's been updated. We've got a lot of new stuff on there, especially the shirts. 
Um, and don't forget to check out uh, at Michael Price Official, the guy who's uh, producing all of our shirts. He, he works with me, I do the artwork. Um, he's also an artist himself. He, he makes all of our shirts. Uh, they're great. You can hit them up on Instagram at Michael Price Official one more time. And uh, yeah, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you already have it. Hit the little bell for the notifications. It helps us out a lot. We're really um, trying to grow here and any support helps. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, you know, if they don't, uh, tell your parents and if they don't like it, throw it in their faces. Wait, no, that's the one they call Ivan Boost. Ah, there you go. <laughs> of course you guys knew that. Anybody who knows that, and it, extra kudos if you know what's playing in the background of this video right now, if you can tell me what song is playing, or I should say what game it's from. But if not, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and head on over and check us out on uh, Facebook at Red Bandana Gaming and Instagram. Um, head on over to our Twitter, follow us, follow our Twitty Tweets, our Twitch Twitter. I'm still getting used to that thing. Uh, uh, it's at RBG underscore retro. We'll twit and tweets and retweets and whatnot. Um, all that other good stuff. But again, I know I sound like a broken record. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps. Tell everybody you know about us. Appreciate it. And you know what? Uh, we're going to be heading up to Orlando in a few weeks. For my birthday, going to be putting up some Galaxy's Edge uh, footage and making a whole little video of that, even though I know it's not technically video game related. We gotta throw it up here, come on. How could I not? But thank you all for watching. I've been rambling too long. You've seen the, the games now. You're like, all right, I'm done. All right, no problem, I got it. Thanks again. And like I always say, be legendary.